I'm in med school. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Hello, beautiful people. It is Thursday. And honestly, this vlog hasn't really consisted of anything useful, just me talking on different days. But it is what it is. Last night I had my research meeting. My doctor kept pushing it back because he was interviewing med students for residency for his uh, department. So he kept pushing the meeting back. But we eventually met later that evening and we're making good headway. So he sent, he showed me some of the stuff he's been working on, which I'm pretty happy about because now we can really get the ball rolling. So based off of the stuff he showed us yesterday, I'm going to revise the abstract I wrote and send that back to him and hopefully have that a-okay so I can submit that abstract by early next week. So that can be one and done with. Excuse a little patch, you know, melanin hyperpigmentation. So we're trying to work on the spots of hyperpigmentation. But so had that research meeting. Today I dropped off the rental car this morning. I was supposed to go to the gym because, you know, yesterday was the rest day. <sighs> I was up by like five, so I could have went to the gym, but I didn't. So when I dropped off the rental car, I was like, I'm going to walk home instead of Ubering. So I walked home. So I got in some, I got in some, I got in something. And my plan is I need to go to CVS to pick up some of the stuff the dermatologist prescribed for me. So instead of driving to CVS, I'm probably going to walk to CVS. And then I also have to go to the post office. So from CVS, I'm probably going to walk to the post office and then walk back home. So with the accumulation, all of that, I think I would have gotten in everything. It wouldn't have been like crazy, whatever, but it would have been movement for the day. So I'm going to count that as something and it would have put me at officially an hour of exercise. So that's what I'm going to call my exercise for today. <sighs> Just finished a two hour review session for a class we have. Mm, yeah, of course we have an exam for next week. And now I'm supposed to be watching some lectures for Derm. I'm, I'm supposed to be watching tomorrow's lectures for Derm because I already finished today's lectures for Derm. But honestly, I like just took off my previous nails and I want to finish doing my nails. So I might finish doing my nails while watching lectures, you know, because I'm a multitasking queen. So I might do that. And then the plan for today is after doing that, hash out some Anki cards, but I honestly might do the Anki cards while I'm walking to CVS in the post office so I can study and exercise at the same time. And then when I come back, practice questions for Derm, step studying tonight, dinner, and then call it a wrap. And I also need to clean my apartment because it's kind of messy. I started doing laundry. I need to finish that. I need to clear my dishwasher because I ran the cycle like two days ago so I have a whole bunch of like clean dry dishes there that I need to put away and then I just need to plan out my weekend of how I'm going to study and all the things I need to do so that's what I'm going to do today and yeah honest ooh, you know what I just realized so I haven't been to I haven't been to school in like two weeks I actually haven't been to school since break was over because we're virtual but I realized I have to go to school because I ordered something and the pickup dates are today and tomorrow from 11 to 3 I'm obviously not gonna make it today because it's already two o'clock and I have a whole lot of whole lot of to do today so I'm not about to drive to school so I'll do that on tomorrow's to-do list to go to school to pick it up and while I'm at school I might as well get my COVID test done so Kill two birds with one stone and yeah that's the plan Stan so see y'all soon I just finished cleaning a bit of my apartment, more so like the kitchen, 
living room esque area. And I'm gonna go to CVS. I'm gonna walk to CVS to pick up some stuff. And because I'm not supposed to go to the post office anymore because I'm not sure if I want to ship what I thought I was gonna ship, so I need to think about that. But heading off to CVS now. I'm gonna walk there. I'm gonna take out my trash on the way. And then when I come back, I'm gonna finish some more lectures go to office hours then study for the rest of the night and then make some dinner the usual so yeah all right guys I am back from CVS that was a good little walk um, picked up the things I needed to it's a little spicy in my house so I need to turn down the heat but I feel like I don't I don't know I don't know what's wrong with my nest system because I feel like when I turn down the heat then my apartment gets like too cold and then I'm like okay I need to turn up the heat then I turn on the heat and then I'm like too hot so it's just frustrating but when I went to go pick up the two prescriptions they charged me and I was like uh-uh I'm gonna have to call my insurance because just about a month ago more like maybe like I don't even know the last time I picked up medication, but last I remember, I wasn't paying for any of my medications, anything. And one of the and one of the things I picked up was just like um, a prescription of vitamin D. And I def was not paying for vitamin D before, and they charged me three dollars. And I was like, mm -mm. I mean, I paid because I had you know, but I'm gonna have to call my insurance tomorrow because I don't know when they started thinking it was okay to charge me some vitamin D so we don't have to get that all the way together but one of them is just vitamin D because my lab values were a little low but I just I don't know I feel like a lot of people are pretty like low on vitamin D anyways but she told me to take those that that can like being a bit low on vitamin D could potentially affect like you know hair growth and stuff and then there's another like cream she prescribed for like my edges but that's going through like another pharmacy because apparently insurance doesn't cover that medication so I'd have to pay out of pocket for it but luckily it's not even like too expensive I'm waiting for that pharmacy to call me and then she also prescribed me like a little like shampoo too because she said my scalp was a little dry but that's probably just because I don't be moisturizing but yeah so Hopefully, over the next couple of months, my edges should be restored, and hopefully my hair stops breaking and I can retain length, and I just, I don't know, I feel like since I started med school and, like, moved, that's really when I just noticed my hair was not giving what it used to give, because back when I was in California, I just didn't have these, like, same issues with my hair breaking and stuff, so maybe it's just being in a different environment, being in med school. I just honestly, med school just takes, 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 and never gives it back to you. But those are the two things I got. So hopefully I can stay consistent with this daily vitamin D. But I think I can because I also started taking multivitamins too. Just, you know, to be healthy or whatever because I don't really be eating all my vegetables. So I need to get my vitamins otherwise. But yeah, so it is 4.30 now. So, I'm probably going to watch one more lecture for tomorrow. There's two more lectures for tomorrow that I have to watch, but I'm probably just going to watch one. And then going to go to Durham office hours just to ask a couple questions. And I did my Anki cards on the way here, so I have like 30 more cards to do. Then I'm going to do practice questions, have dinner, and honestly, probably going to go to sleep because I don't even feel like I like did much today and I'm already tired so that's really just the plan for today or the rest of the evening and uh, there's just so much to do and then we have like a reflection due for one of our classes tomorrow they're just making a whole bunch of stuff due so I have to like go through my emails and then I was supposed to schedule another meeting for different like paper type commentary I'm working on with one of my deans and some other people that I was supposed to set up that meeting that I have not set up yet. So I probably should send that email today. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna get my life together. Good morning, you guys. It is Friday. Thank God, even though it's not like I had like the worst of weeks, but it's Friday and it is almost 10 a.m. I was supposed to go to the gym this morning. I woke up around like 5.30 and then, you know when you're just like, okay, 30 more minutes, 30 more minutes, 30 more minutes, that's what I did. And before I knew it was 10 a.m., it was almost 10 a.m. And we have our final review session for dermatology at 10. So I just had to rearrange my schedule and my plan, but I'm gonna do the fun. I'm just gonna go to the live Zoom session for that. I thought about like zooming into that while at the gym, but they may have like questions or stuff, and I kind of wanted to be like fully focused on that if that's the case. So I'm gonna stay in my apartment for the Zoom session, then head to the gym, and then I realized today is Friday. And today's the last day for me to head to school to pick up something because I had ordered something through like a student group and they had made the pickup days Thursday and Friday and I didn't go yesterday so I have to go today. So that's on my to-do list. So after the gym, I'm going to come home, take a shower, get ready, go to school to pick that up and get my COVID test while I'm there. And then I'm going to stop by Kohl's because I have to return something to Amazon. So I might as well do that while I'm out anyways before I miss the return window. Then I'm gonna come home, I have one more derm lecture to watch, then I'm done on skin cancer. And my plan is to do my derm Anki cards while at the gym. So usually I kind of split up my, the way I like gym is like, I usually do maybe anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour of like strength training. And then the last like 45 minutes is cardio. Um, usually my cardio is running so I'm not doing Anki cards when I'm running, but I may do the bike today because I'm trying to like, you know, switch it up. So I might do Anki cards then. If I decide to run instead of biking, I'm gonna do my Anki cards when I come back home after running my errands. And then what else do I have on my agenda? And then there's office hours today for the other course I have an exam for that I wanted to go to, but it may not make sense to go to because I haven't reviewed any of the like material for that course. So I might skip that. And then I have to plan my weekend. It's MLK Day on Monday. And I didn't realize that until I was on FaceTime with my sister last night. And she told me because she was like, oh yeah, girl, my weekend starts today. And I was like, oh, we do have a three-day weekend. So this gives me like an extra day to kind of plan out my weekend and how I'm going to study and everything. So... Feeling good. The week started off a bit rough, but ending on a good note, positive note. So I'm feeling good about that. I'm just going to start off by making some hot cocoa for myself. And then I'm going to get to my computer desk and we're going to do this review session, put on our gym clothes, and then do what we got to do for the day. Ugh. I gotta write this abstract. I keep forgetting about that. Ugh, in this meeting. I have so many things I gotta do that I'm not doing. So, yeah. Honestly, I feel like my life is a life of perpetual procrastination. But, the hope is to get them done this weekend. So, yeah. Okay guys, so I just got back from the gym. Definitely running a bit behind schedule, but I forgot I had a class meeting, so instead of running, I was just on a treadmill at high incline walking while listening in on the class meeting. And basically it was just about third year rotations and submitting our schedules of like when we want to do what blocks. So that was fun. It's gonna be actually a lot of work because I have to actually go down and sit and they don't give us a lot of time to submit because it opens up next week and then it closes a week later. So I have to use this weekend to like sit down and figure out when I wanna do certain blocks and certain rotations and stuff. And that's kind of stressful because 
actually made me realize I had to text one of my line sisters because she's getting married in 2023 and I'm going to be a bridesmaid and I was like I actually need to know the day of her wedding so I can figure out if I can schedule like my elective or my vacation time to fall on her wedding date so I don't miss it so I had to like text her and ask her if she has a date yet and all that kind of stuff so it actually kind of put me in a stressful space so a lot of stuff to do today I need to take a shower and then like I said head to school to go pick up the thing that I got I had to pick up some packages from my Amazon hub on the, on the package place on the way back upstairs so I'm just gonna open those I forgot what I ordered I'm ordering a lot of stuff and I don't even remember what I'd be ordering but uh, I had to buy more ink for my printer box over here I'm gonna sell them I needed to re-up on multivitamins. Oh, these came early. Okay, come through. These came early. Did you look at that? That's so weird that they came in the box. Ugh. I am like super stressed. So I have to do that. Ugh, I am so stressed. And have a reflection due for a class today that I gotta do. So, lots of things to do that I was not anticipating. So, gonna have to figure out what rotations I wanna do. I'm not even sure. I might save that for the next vlog to kinda walk you guys through the different rotations and how people decide what rotations to do and stuff. I think that might be good for this vlog, but yeah. So that's really all I have for today. I'm probably gonna wrap up the vlog here. You can see I'm sweaty and I just look disgusting. But yeah, so that's really what my week has been like. Super uneventful, not exciting, but <sighs> lots to do this weekend, lots to do next week, and I will take you guys along that journey in the next vlog thank you guys so much for watching please be sure to like comment share and subscribe if you're not following me on instagram go ahead and follow me at the pretty med underscore and i will see you guys later bye